Hello. In this video, we're going to take a look at a practical example of how we might use an open loop comparator as a wave shaping circuit. And so let's imagine that we have a, an op amp uh, connected in open loop uh, where we're applying the input signal to the positive input terminal. So it's a non inverting uh, comparator configuration. And then uh, we apply a reference voltage in the negative input terminal, which is set via a voltage division from a 15 volt supply uh, through resistors of 12 kilo ohms and 3 kilo ohms. And therefore, my reference voltage, V ref, is going to be equal to my 15 volts times uh, 3k divided by 12k plus 3k or 15 times 3 divided by 15, which is equal to 3 volts. So my reference voltage of 3 volts. And let's say that my uh, input signal is a sinusoidal signal of amplitude 6 volts, and my saturation voltages for the op-amp, assuming it is connected to plus minus uh, 15 volt supplies, it's going to be plus minus 13 volts. And so basically the output of this comparator uh, we expect it to be a square signal if my input is a sinusoidal signal. Uh, the output again is going to have two levels, high or low, and so it's going to be high whenever my input signal is higher than the reference voltage and low whenever my input signal is lower than the reference voltage. So in other words, if I have my input signal, which we, as we mentioned, is going to be a sinusoid of amplitude 6 volts, And that is V in. I expect that my output signal, V out, is going to be a, um, a square wave. And wherever my input signal was equal to 3 volts or higher than 3 volts, so let's imagine this is my 3 volt point, then my output signal will be high. And whenever my input signal is lower than 3 volts, then my output signal will be low. So I'm just labeling um, the 3 volt crossing points for my input signal. And now I can draw my output signal. And it's going to go between um, negative saturation voltage or negative 13 volts and positive 13 volts. Let me make that a bit more clear. Negative 13 volts, positive 13 volts. And again, a square signal, which is high whenever my input signal is higher than 3 volts and low otherwise. So basically, I've managed to shape my input signal uh, from a sinusoidal waveform to a square waveform, which I can now use as a clock signal, for example. And notice that I can uh, adjust the duty cycle of that output signal uh, by simply changing the reference voltage. And so in this case, for example, if I wanted to calculate my duty cycle, uh, I will simply say my uh, V in is equal to 6 times the sine of omega t plus theta, uh, which is basically I'm just going to call it an angle, theta. Uh, and we know that my output is high whenever V in is equal to 3 volts. So V out is equal to V H when it is met that this is equal to 3. And that happens when sine of theta is equal to 3 sixths or 1 halves, which basically implies that theta is going to be equal to um, 30 degrees or 180 minus 30 degrees, which is 150 degrees. So for those two values of my angle, uh, theta, I will have uh, sine equal to 0.5 or 1 half. Uh, obviously, this point over here corresponds to, if we have to look at it in the graph, this is going to be the point corresponding to 30 degrees. This is going to be the point corresponding to 150 degrees. And so the duty cycle is uh, the percentage of time that my clock signal is high, and that's going to be for um, 
but the difference between the two, which is 120 degrees out of, I probably shouldn't call this time if I'm labeling it this way, but rather I'll call it my theta in degrees. And so basically for 120 degrees out of the 360 degrees that the whole period takes. And so if I wanted to calculate my duty cycle, it will essentially be 150 minus 30, which is 120 divided by 360 degrees, which is 0.333 or one third. Um, and therefore my, I can also express my duty cycle as a percentage as 33.3%. Again, by adjusting the value of my reference voltage, in this case it is 3 volts, but if I move it higher, then I will have a shorter duty cycle clock, and if I move it lower, I will have a longer duty cycle clock. So this is an example of how we can use, uh, in this case, an op-amp uh, as a comparator, an open-loop comparator, um, to perform wave shaping, etc. Thank you.